All right, in today's video, I'm uploading a stream highlight of a clip of a viewer question that I was asked, basically asking why engagements might be so important for respawn maps and why it might be more important to have more engagements sometimes than it is to have, you know, just over a 1.0 KD. Would you rather have someone going 24 and 24 rather than 20 and 18? And in my opinion, the engagements that the 24 and 24 guy has is, is very important. And I'm going to be breaking down why that is basically talking about the concept of layering on the map so that you're constantly getting engagements and really making sure that you're having lines of defense before you know a possible hill break comes on in so you know even though you might die the fact that you're getting info and the fact that you're stunting their push buys yourself some time off of spawn so that you can possibly get into another engagement. And by taking that engagement, it's just a free risk on your part because either you get the kill and you get the info or you die, get the info and you can spawn back up and still get in another engagement to help with the hold at the final stand of the hold. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this clip and let me know if any other questions that you would like me to answer. You know, you could always ask them on stream and I can clip them just like I did with this one. Uh, and if it's a really interesting or important topic i would might upload it uh to the youtube so thank you guys for watching once again and i'll see you guys in the next one can you explain a little bit why pacing seems or sometimes is sometimes important for example is it better for a player to go sometimes 28 and 28 rather than 21 and 24 uh i think i think so i think this is much more valuable to me, to me because i think there's a lot of deaths that you can get pushing something out, creating a layer for your team. So when I say layer, I mean like, let's say, okay. Let's say this guy comes off spawn, right? And you're, you're holding the hill, holding the hill. You know, this guy's going to bump you off spawn. So you might as well, like, there's a lot of times where people don't layer it out. If they have the timing to, to push out in the front, try and catch someone off of their spawn, kill them, maybe get traded out. But regardless, you're stunting this push rather than them going straight to time, right? You're stunting their push here so that one of your guys who either might be holding with you can then take this gunfight now rather than having the gunfight happen over here. And then you're going to spawn out regardless and, and bump out by that time. So if, if you're constantly flowing like that, they're never going to get to time without you already getting to it if someone else already takes that engagement, right? You see what I mean? Like, you get the info. First, boom. You get the info. You make them even weak, maybe. Regardless, you get the info. Next guy in line can, can help out. At least stunt the push before they get to time so that it buys time for you who just died over here to spawn up and maybe get back to hill. So you're layering. It. It's rather than one engagement happening right at the hill, it maybe even is two engagements before you even get on the hill and maybe the third engagement's on hill. Maybe I didn't explain that kind of well, but if you if you guys kind of break that down, it's it's basically what I'm talking about in terms of like creating a layer where you're you're having you're forcing an engagement before it needs to be engaged because or i shouldn't say needs to be engaged but before and before it gets to a more important area of the map so that you get the info and can possibly even get them weak for someone else to get a trade so even though you die there it's not necessarily that bad because you're just spawning up anyways and getting back into the hill before that other person gets to the hill anyways because they're met with the engagements like sometimes you just gotta get in their face bro like even if you if you if you die if you have the timing to do it, get in their face, get that information for your team. Yeah, it kind of goes with the assembly line theory. It goes hand in hand with that.